As we mentioned, Congressman Darrell Issa has compiled a report he says proves the Obama administration has not been telling the truth about its response to the oil spill in the Gulf. Mr. Issa, the ranking member on the Oversight and Reform Committee, claims the White House dragged its feet on accepting international assistance and was not in command of the operation at the rig site from day one, as the president has said. Congressman Issa of California joining me now live from Capitol Hill. Congressman, thanks for visiting with us. Just a short time ago, uh, White House spokesperson Robert Gibbs responded to your accusation that the White House was slow to accept international help. I want to hear his response and then hear from you. That is, um, it's a, a myth that has been debunked uh, literally hundreds of times. Uh, there uh, were already 24 foreign vessels that were operating in the Gulf um, uh, before the State Department announced two days ago additional international assistance. As early as May 11th, boom had arrived from Mexico, Norway, uh, and Brazil. The response from yourself and from the GOP right now is that the president's office, the White House, is calling this sophomoric. Why? Its response is sophomoric. Well, Why? I the same spokesman that for 10 weeks couldn't answer the questions on Joseph Sestak uh, as though they didn't know that he'd been made a job offer is making a statement. He's making a half truth there. Uh, booms did get brought in from foreign countries, but that's different than vessels. For example, there's a, there are vessels that can decant oil. They can take 99% of the oil, bring it into the boat, and then put out water. They've never been granted a waiver. They've never been granted a waiver because the EPA says, well, they're putting 1% back into the water. If General or Admiral Thad Allen was actually allowed to be in command fully, he of course would take 99% solutions and worry about the 1% in the EPA problems later. That's the kind of small thinking that's going on. When we were briefed by Admiral Watson, he made it very clear it's a consensus system, not a top-down management system the way the president has said. He said it's warfighter type uh, activity. It's not. It's EPA, OSHA, and all the other alphabet soups, each being able to stop something and so until they're fully satisfied, and that's one of the reasons for the slowdown. We're not faulting the uh, Corps of Engineers, or sorry, the Corps of Engineers or the Coast Guard or any of the other agencies, agencies individually. But the president said the buck stops with him. Admiral Allen has total authority to do what he thinks is right, and that's just not quite true. Well, so help me out, Congressman. The title of your report is "How the White House Public Relations Campaign on the Oil Spill Is Harming the Actual Cleanup." So, what specifically is in the report that points to the White House? House harming that effort. Well, good, one a good example is there's a, they claimed 140 skimmers when there were only 31 there. Uh, it took a parish administrator uh, demanding to go out and see them and three canceled flights before they finally admitted that they just didn't have that many. Uh, because they claim to have 140 skimmers, of course, there's, a, there's sort of a belief that they can leave skimmers in other parts of the, uh, of the country in case there's a spill there, when in fact they should have been moving them sooner. Certainly not being able to berm up areas sooner as uh, Governor Bobby Jindal had asked for was a problem and not being able to decant this uh, this oil so that we can get a lot of it out of the water sooner rather than later but the public relation is we're already doing all we can we've been doing it from day one if those two things are not true then that public spin keeps people from adding resources that should be added or even considering and going public with them. And Congressman, you also note that resources are being used, as you say, as a bargaining chip to mute criticism. Give us an example that you're referring to. Well, I mean, that's an on-the-record statement by, by a parish where they said they wanted more and they were told they could have two if it would shut them up. Uh, in our report, we took actual testimony and actual documents and, and put it out there. What we were trying to do is not something on behalf of a party. Many of these people are certainly not in my party. Uh, but what we tried to do is have the voices that were not being heard through the Obama, uh, if you will, uh, machine that's putting out the news and have their voices and their statements and their testimony heard. If you will, it's the other side of the story. It's the loyal opposition saying, why isn't the White House also telling us about this or doing this? I believe that a lot is being done. And I believe more could be done and should be done, and I'd like to see it done. I'd like to work with the administration to get some of these additional uh, resources in there because I think they're doing a good job, but they could do a better job. I think everybody agrees to that. Congressman Issa, we appreciate it, and thanks for your time here on MSNBC. Of course.